Hello again, everyone. Um, I am trying to get round to acknowledge all the wonderful messages for my birthday yesterday. So uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed, really. But thank you so much, everyone who's taken the trouble to send a message. It was really, really, really heartening. Um, so to today I'm going to do a really short video because I've still got a lot more to get around to, to, to acknowledge. And I thought I would sort of paraphrase one of the cards I had for my birthday. In fact, it was, it was from my husband. These are the words that were on there. She was confused. The cookbook clearly said, use leftover wine. Leftover wine? There's not much leftover wine in our house, I have to say. This image that I found on my computer is one that was by Bugaboo, um, Bugaboo Digital Stamps, whom sadly are no longer trading. Um, I just loved their humour. So here's a lady with doing some cooking and she's got a glass of wine. So I thought it would go quite well with the um, the sentiment. The sentiment I did um, in Word by putting the various elements in text boxes so that I could move them around where I wished. And I made them transparent so that where it was, for example, overlapping part of the spoon, the spoon would be visible. I do have a video on how I do this and I will put a link at the bottom for it. I'm just going to colour her very simply with a few alcohol markers. I was going to you that I'm going to make a five by seven tent fold card. This is the die I normally use. Here's my base. But of course, I realised that when I put that on there, I just printed it without even thinking. And to get it in the middle, it's the wrong it's in the wrong place. So rather than print it all out again, I thought I would just go down a few sizes with my um, rectangle until one would fit. And then I can either put a, another mount underneath it or just raise it onto foam tape or whatever. But this one looks like it's going to work. So um, the other question that came to my mind with doing this is someone asked me about alcohol pens and colouring images that you've printed on um, an inkjet printer. This was printed on an inkjet printer. There are a few things you can do. One is try to be really careful and not go too much over the lines. Um, well, you do that in any case, I suppose, really, if you're doing careful colouring. But if you take it straight from the um, printer and sprinkle a little clear embossing powder on and then heat set that, that will seal it. Um, otherwise, you can just heat, make sure it's really dry, heat set the, um, the image itself. So I did a little of that. I didn't put any um, embossing powder on, but I did just make sure it was absolutely dry. So I'm going to colour it, then I'm going to cut it with this die and mount it onto a five by seven card. So what I think I'll do is I'm just going to use basically t two colours, which are red and black, um, plus a skin tone. I may use a couple of those. I've got a few different, um, oops, a daisy, different skin tones if, of alcohol markers. So. Um, I might do that first, actually. This is, what colour is this one? I'll just check it on something. That's nice. So I'm going to just do the skin. I'm not going to colour the glasses. I'm going to do that um, with greyish sort of colour. I may add a little pink for the cheeks, because she might be a little flushed if she's, if she's doing... <laughs> if she's doing her um, cooking. There we go. I'm going to leave the eyelid because I may put a little colour on that too. Let's just see what this other colour is I've got here. I just got them out randomly, didn't really think. 
let's just put a little shadow around the bottom here. Not forgetting her decolletage and her arms. Do some of the there we go. Well, I've, I've just coloured in the spoon, haven't I? So <laughs> I'll go over with that with the grey to make it look like metal. Let's just add a little of this one. Often two colours is just absolutely enough. Let's do the grey for that um, spoon when I think about it. These are pro markers. Four. That's a bit dark. Let's try three. Where's the three? Two. Three. This will do. Let's colour in this spoon. I can I put a little bit of the darker one as well? That's four. Okay. Now, let's do, um, I think I'll have the, um, the turban thing, white with red spots. I think that's what we'll do. So I'll just put a little shading on each of the spots. And now I'll fill in the colour with the other red. I nearly always use the same combo of reds. I'm trying to talk and colour at the same time. It's quite difficult, isn't it, really? Okay. I think I'll do something similar, but add a little more of the darker red for the wine in the glass. There we go. There we go. Blend it across. Right. Lovely. Now, I think we'll give her a red dress and a white apron, perhaps. Let's do that. Red dress. Here we go. The white I will suggest with greys. Often in clean and simple, just to keep the colours very, very limited is a, you know, a good thing. Okay, there's her dress. Now I'll just do a little shading. Where's the one? Where's my one? Here's one. So we'll have a little shading around here. A little shading on the, on the apron. There we go. It's just a suggestion a lot of the time. You don't actually have to do too much, really. Now, for her, the pot, let's do the pot. I'm going to use the very dark grey. Okay. Where are we? Four. Let's have four. That's a five, now a four. Go over those tiny bit there. And a three. Where's my three? Five, four, one, two, three. You had to be there somewhere. I 
I'm just going to put a gentle, tiny bit of white of number one, rather. Here it is. Down there. So there's our pot and we need some red lips i put use this one for the glasses i might be <laughs> going to change my mind and give her um, brown hair rather than black but we'll see there's her lips Perhaps I will give her brown hair. Let's get a couple of browns here. Let's just check. Where's my spare? Here we go. I used to have all of these done in them um, on the chart, but kind of not quite sure if this is her hair, but it's going to be her hair now. Okay, I think to carry on with that brown theme, I'll just do this work surface in brown as well. There we go. I think that's going to do. So now I'm just going to cut this out with that and pop it onto the front of my card and it's done. Oh, I haven't done her eyeshadow. Um, mm, we're going to give her eyeshadow. Wow, there we go. There we go. Right, I'll just cut this off so that I can fit it through my um silhouette here there we go she was confused let's just get this looking at the spaces either side right there we go it's not going to go very long that way i really should tape it shouldn't i Right. There we are. So there's my card base. There's my box up the other way up. Whether I put um I'm going to put it on foam tape, but whether I um, put a, a colour behind or not, I don't know. Let's we'll see. It's fun though, isn't it? And as ever, thank you so much for watching.